and welcome. My name is Claire and this is Stitch M Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be putting together a vlog for you for Friday Sews. This is my first episode of Friday Sews and if that interests you please stick around. So as I said this is my first episode of Friday Sews. Friday Sews is the brainchild of Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and I believe it's been around for about a year or so and it's where lots of vloggers ch chat about their week under the hashtag of Friday Sews so I thought maybe I would join in. The first thing I thought I'd tell you about today are the pyjamas that I talked about in my last video that I was going to make for my son and these are the pyjamas, this is the pyjama bottoms with a nice cuff on and the pyjama top. I've used the Ellie and Mac Grow With Me pyjamas. Here's the pattern here. It's a great free pattern. It goes ranges from size six months to 14 years. So a really great pattern that will, you can keep printing out and keep using. So that's really, really useful. I've also popped in some little made by mummy labels from Little Rosy Cheeks, which I just think add a lovely little touch to the pajamas. I also, because I had some extra fabric, I've made a jumper for my younger son. Uh, I've only made the jumper so far because I've run out of um, the ribbing. I may well go back at some point if I buy some more of the ribbing fabric to make some uh, bottoms but at the moment he's just been using it as a jumper during the day I think it's a really cute it's just so cute and uh, this pattern that I use was the waves and wild hot chocolate pattern now the pattern that I've actually got is the made by Jack's mum because I bought the pattern before the rebounding but it's a lovely pattern it goes right from premature baby right up to the age of 12 so again another pattern that will take that I'll get a huge amount of use out of over the next few years for my two boys and there are several different options I've done the crew neck option just here however there are also there is also a hoodie option and a cow neck option and there are also uh, you can also make it into a dress if, if that's how you want to go obviously with the kangaroo pocket and or little patch pockets so a really good range on that that pattern for boys and girls so fantastic really another thing that I've made this week using the hot chocolate pattern is a jumper for my older son we were talking together about the fact that it, it's his Christmas jumper day at school next month and that he needed a new Christmas jumper and he asked me to make him one well when your child asks you to make them something it's difficult to say no so we happened to be in a local supermarket and he fell in love with a fleece blanket and he said to me mummy can't you just make me a jump out of this I love it and I thought to myself well maybe um fleece normally has a certain amount of stretch to it so we bought the fleece and we bought um brought it home and then I realised that the stretch of the fabric goes downwards rather than across. So <laughs> I thought, oh, what do I do? Because he loved the fabric. What do I do? So what I've done is I've sized up. So it's a bit oversized on him, but he's really pleased with it. I've used um, ribbing so that the neck area is a bit more stretchy and on the cuff and the sleeves he's really pleased with it as I say it doesn't quite have the same stretch but because it's really roomy it's not like he's having to stretch it on him so um, it seems to have worked out okay and he's really chuffed with it so what well, you know happy days the last thing that I've made this week is a popcorn bag now I used a tutorial from Christine Sews a lot that I actually saw on Adam's channel at who's Adam Sews. He'd made a few using the tutorial 
so I went and had a look and it's fantastic really simple clear instructions from Christine so thank you Christine and you use a hundred percent cotton fabric and you need to use a hundred percent cotton thread because you're obviously putting it in the microwave and you don't want to cause a fire <laughs> so you just pop your popcorn kernels in and you can make some you know nice popcorn for you and your family I think that I'm going to whip up a few of these for little additional Christmas presents I think they'd make really lovely teacher gifts pop in a little bag of popcorn in a little paper bag um, print out a few little instructions of how to use them um, I think that would make a lovely little gift as a teacher Christmas gift and um, maybe some of my friends and family might receive them too. Um, we'll, we'll wait and see on that one. That's all my makes for this week. Quite a productive week for me actually. Some weeks I find are better than others, more productive than others. Uh, this one's been a good one. On to some fabrics that I've bought this week. I bought just a couple of fabrics. The first fabric is a jersey fabric that I bought from Fabrics by Penny community group on Facebook. It's just a de-stash fabric of remnant piece. I think it's about 50 centimeters in length. Um, it's this lovely fun Christmas print. There's just enough I think to, to whip up a maybe a long sleeve t-shirt for one of my my sons. I just thought it was really fun. I love it. I wish I wish there was more actually. I'd like some pajamas in this myself quite frankly. The second fabric that I bought is a coating fabric. I'm rather scared if I'm honest with you. I've never made anything as big as a coat. However, I was on Rainbow Fabric Kilburn's website. I had a voucher. This fabric was super reasonable in price. It's this gorgeous sort of royal blue, cobalt blue, I'm not quite sure, um, colour. It's a viscose wool fabric. Now I've no idea whether you can wash this. I need to do some research whether you're supposed to pre-wash like you do with other fabrics. Um, whether I'm supposed to treat it in some way before, before I use it. I'm going to have to do some research but if anybody has got any hints or tips please let me know. So I am thinking of using this pattern. Now I haven't bought the actual pattern yet but I will do. Um, it's the Paper Cut Patterns Nova Coat. You can make two variations of this, well four technically. You can make the long line coat with the long sleeves or you can do the long line with a shorter sleeve, sort of a mid length. Or you can do like a crop jacket with a long sleeve or a crop jacket with like the mid sleeve. You can make it in, in all sorts of uh, woven fabric. So you can make a, a real lightweight version or use like a thicker wool um, fabric. There's lots of amazing coats on Instagram under the Nova coat hashtag. Um, but it's, I'm still a bit scared about it, quite frankly. It's supposed to be a lined coat. Now, I found two fabrics in my stash that I think might go quite nicely as lining. They're both visco fabrics. So if I try and hold them all up. So I've got, obviously, the coating fabric. And I've got these two fabrics. They're both viscose fabrics. Uh, this one I bought from a D stash. I think it might have been in a So Haley Jane box. I don't subscribe to So Haley Jane, although I'd love to because I think they're fantastic. And this one was another fabric that I picked up some time ago in the summer from Rainbow Fabrics. I think they both go really quite nicely with it. My husband thinks this pink based one. I think I'm more airing on this one, but maybe it's just because it feels like a safer option. Maybe I should be a bit more brave and go with this one. This is a bit of a longer term project. I'm not expecting to whip this up in the next week. I haven't even bought the pattern yet, 
but I'd love to get this done before the end of the winter because I think it would be amazing but as I say yes a little bit scared any of you made a coat before any hints tips tricks I'd be super grateful <laughs> well folks thanks ever so much for joining me for my first episode of Friday Sews I hope to make this a weekly event until next time please like drop me a comment subscribe if you haven't already done so but thank you so much for watching take care happy sewing bye